What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be reviewing the Boot Rockers 333 ANC and this is the neck band that I have been using. I have used it for about more than a week I guess. I have replaced this unit too so I'll talk about everything but before that if you want to buy it you can get the affiliate links in the description. It will help my channel if you buy it from the links. So yes the 333 and the 330 ANC is the same headset but I would say the Cable actually is braided on the 333 ANC but on the 330 it does not come with a braided cable. That's it. That's the difference. The 330 you can get on Amazon and the 333 you can get on Flipkart. But let me tell you what I have experienced with this particular headset. And yes, this is clearly one of the best sounds that I have heard with a lot of bass and stuff. So if you love bass, this is the headphone for you. But let me tell you if your ears are like very small, these are 13 mm drivers. So really bigger than normal 10 mm drivers. If you compare it with my 335, this is the size difference. And if you're noticing the size difference is huge. This one is 10 mm and this one is 13 mm. So before you buy this headset, let me tell you that you should consider the size of these headsets. They are 13 mm. And if your ear canals are very small, it will not fit in your ear properly. So it might get uncomfortable. So these are very big kind of earphones. So yes, you have to keep that in mind. A lot of board headsets that I have. Here is the 335 again. And here I have the 411 ANC TWS. This one also works great, but I'll talk about every difference that I have seen between this one's ANC and this one's ANC in today's video. Let me talk about the build quality again, but this part here on the headset this time is plastic it seems. But inside over here, this back part over here is I think metal, but except for that this whole headset made out of plastic. You can watch my unboxing video if you want to, you can find that out in the cards. In that unboxing video I have showed every detail of it, it has three mics individually on the headset itself. So the noise cancellation and stuff or with the ANC I mean is just awesome. This is one of the best sounding ANC that I have like heard in a neckband headset. Yes, I have heard the Realme ones too, but I don't have it. I don't personally use it, but I have heard it with my friend's headset. But I would say the ANC on this one is very, very powerful. But one thing I have to mention with a normal headset like this, if you put it in, you don't get to hear the outside noise very much. But if you use these headphones with like without the ANC, you will still be able to hear a lot of noise of outside if you just pause the music and just keep these headsets in your ear. That's because it has three holes for the mics. So I think that lets the audio to pass through with these mic holes. So that is one thing to consider which is not the case for this normal kind of neckband earphones. But it has both ANC and transparency. And the transparency on this one is much more powerful than the Boat Rockers 411 ANC TWS. And yes, I have really loved the like transparency mode on this one. The transparency mode is just accurate and it's just great. The like quality overall is amazing for the transparency. About the charging, yes, the charging time, I would say it's fast. Like if you have used some other headphones, it, it will feel fast for you. It did not seem to be fast for me because I have these 335, I guess. On these, it just charges like marvelously fast. It's just like, it's like a magic when I charge this device. On this 335, I, I have like so many experiences that I had like 10% battery left, then I plugged them in. It just full charges in like 30 to 35 minutes. That's really, really fast for a neckband headset. So 30 to 35 minutes, I have experienced that, like the full charge experience. But on this, let me tell you, the battery life is a little lower when compared to this 335. If I have to compare the 330 ANC with the 335, the numbers are a little confusing, but yeah, let's continue with that. So if these 335 has 100% battery, this one has like about 80% battery, you can say, if that's a scale. So yeah, the battery life I would say is a little lower because it has ANC and stuff. And if you use ANC, the battery life will be a lot lower. It will give you about seven hours, I guess, with like music and stuff. And even transparency will hog up a lot of battery. So yeah, the battery life on these without ANC and without transparency mode is about 24 hours. Even if you take a lot of calls and stuff, I'll talk about a calling problem later, but let me tell you, if you, even if you take a lot of calls, a lot of music, a lot of YouTube videos and stuff, if you watch all those, 
it will give you about i would say one and a half days with like heavy usage because most of the days i have been ending with 60 percent battery i mean after every full charging of the device so yes one and a half to two days worth of battery life you can get in total so no issues with battery life even if you charge your headset like between two days it should last really really long the battery life again is decent in my opinion for the price of 14 24 rupees that i bought it for i feel it's nice i have charged this device from 30 percent to 100 percent for that it took me about 40 minutes so yes it's not too bad but if you have used a lot of fast charging headphones it will feel a little slower for you let me talk about one more point that is very important for this headset why i got the replacement unit over here even with this replacement unit my issue is not completely fixed so some of my friends also has ordered this particular headset and one of my friend actually told me about this issue because he takes a lot of calls and stuff so for someone who picks up or receives a lot of call this is not the headset that you should go for because after you receive your call with this particular button or like however you receive it after you receive the call it will take about four to five seconds to actually like get to hear anything you actually get to hear anything it will like give you a sound delay of four to five seconds even that bluetooth icon inside that call in the phone will not appear until four or five seconds so that's the like bug i would say with other headsets that i have used it does not happen there is some kind of delay up after you receive a call when you are placing a call you don't see that because there is a lot of ringing kind of thing so yeah after placing the call you won't see it but once you receive a call you will definitely notice it so that's a huge problem for someone who picks up a lot of calls with their neck bands and if you're someone who does that i would say stay away from this one because of that four to five seconds delay and after i like replaced my unit on this one i have about three seconds of delay that i have tested that's a little weird thing that i have been noticing but yeah this does happen the main mic of these headphone is here on the right side over here and you can watch my unboxing video for the mic sample if you want to but let me tell you that the mic quality is good but it cancels a, like too much noise i would say like even if you have a lot of noise and stuff it will cancel the noise that's fine but even in like indoor condition where there is not a lot of noise it will also cancel a lot of noise there and make your voice like feel like coming from a little bit of cave kind of sound so yeah that thing i have noticed because it has that enx technology audio that simply happens and that's one thing that i have noticed with this enx technology of boat with the 335 headphone that i have from boat this one sounds great with the mic and stuff if you are someone who travels a lot and if you're in traffic and stuff then definitely this one will help with the noise cancellation don't get me wrong the noise cancellation is not bad the noise cancellation is actually great over here but it does that a little too much i would say even when there is not a lot of noise and let's talk about this flap this like port flap that we have over here on this type c port that is i think a little bit flimsy i feel when compared to the 335 headphone that i have this one is feeling a little bit flimsy to me at least that i have noticed now let's talk about one more bug that i have noticed just today because i have been playing a lot of youtube videos today and like listening to them and stuff with this particular headphone now i have played a couple of videos in 1.25 and 1.5x after that i have seen that the like audio is being skipped after every like 5 to 10 seconds that's a really weird experience that i have been having so yeah this one is skipping the audio if you are someone who watches a lot of videos with like fast forwarding or playback speed increase to 1.5x this headphone will not work for you because it skips a lot of audio like it just cuts down the audio for one second then it plays back again from that particular part but this middle part is skipped from the audio it feels like that the audio is being disconnected from the device from for like one second that is really weird which does not happen with other headsets that i have the 335 does not do that even this 411 anc does not do that but again if you remember the price bracket that is around 1500 rupees and in that particular price bracket i don't particularly remember any headphone or i can't really recall any headphone which comes with anc and transparency both feature and has a lot of features like this with this kind of look and stuff the build quality is great and this particular parts are metal these two parts the headphones itself are made out of plastic it seems now let's talk about the sound quality the pure sound quality on these well it has that direct kind of sound it advertises that in the box and even the website i 
cannot really say that there is a huge difference in audio when you enable the direct mode by the way you enable the direct mode and stuff with these buttons like the middle button in the volume plus and minus that's the middle button if you press it twice it will enable the direct mode even with that yes it improves the vocals but the sound quality does not improve drastically that you will notice like humongously but yeah i would say the sound quality is great it's very loud i have been listening to this with like 80 percent volume max because if I hear these headphones with 90 to 100% volume, I am pretty sure I'm gonna be damaging my ears or something because this sounds very much and it's just full of sound that it vibrates your ear canal inside. If you hear the basses and stuff with 100% volume, even if you hear for five seconds, you can feel your ear canal shaking inside. So that's one thing happening. If you like listen to it with 100% volume, you don't even need to listen to the 100% volume. 80% is more than sufficient on these headphones like i i have friends they have listened to this with like 60 percent volume and they said this is the maximum volume right that's how it is that's how it sounds the sound quality is great the bass is a lot more over here the boat headphones has already a lot of bass but here you will get the like most bass out there that it will literally shake your ear canals except for that i would say if you don't want that much bass and stuff I would say you can go for other options like the OnePlus Z2 and stuff if you don't want ANC and stuff. But I would say this one is really good option if you're someone who likes the ANC transparency feature. And if you need those under 1500 rupees, this is a great headphone for you. And even the mic quality and stuff is great. I do not have much complaints. For the price, actually, I cannot complain much. And this one also does have its flaws, but no product is perfect and it also has the bugs but it may not be like good enough for you if you receive a lot of calls and stuff you will get annoyed with that four five seconds delay some unit may not have it but my two units that i have replaced and my friends has replaced two units as well but still i can say the issue may appear in a lot of units of that calling delay kind of thing but except for that for the price of 1500 rupees i would say it's a good buy if you can live with the bugs or the problems that i have mentioned for this headset so let me in the comments what do you guys think about this video give it a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends if they want to know about the 333 anc i love the transparency and anc of this so yeah that's how i feel subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is cheater from kdndx signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now